In today's video, I'll be going over features and how to use GeForce Experience. If you don't know what GeForce Experience is, this is a fantastic program that you can install alongside of your NVIDIA drivers. It allows you to do all sorts of things. This could be optimizing your games, taking screenshots within a game, even recording your video games as well. And you don't even notice any performance issues while recording using the built-in recorder from GeForce Experience. Before we get started, don't forget to like this video if you did enjoy it and it did help. And also we have almost hit 40,000 subscribers and that is thanks to all of you. If we could hit 50,000 subscribers by the end of summer, that would be absolutely amazing. So hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. So the first thing you're going to notice when you boot up GeForce Experience is the home page. And you may notice it has detected all the games that are installed on your system. As you can see, I do have actually a lot of games installed on this system. And the very first game I'm going to use for the example is Fortnite. If I hover over Fortnite, you will then see details. You can then go ahead and click on details and you will now be presented with your current in-game settings. And also you will see a optimal settings. As you can see on the left hand side, I currently have the 3D resolution set at 44 and GeForce Experience has detected I should be running it at 100. I also love GeForce Experience how it actually explains what each setting does. For example, 3D resolution, downscaling that reduces the internal rendering resolution to increase performance. I'm not going to read it all because I don't want to bore you. But yeah, no matter what you hover over, you can select it and then it will tell you what it does and how it can improve your game or make your game run worse. If you scroll down, there are lots of different settings as you can see. We can go ahead and click on optimize. This is now selected the settings that GeForce Experience recommends that my system can use and will run perfectly fine on. We can also click on this little spanner and you will then be presented with a window that looks like this. You can then choose custom settings. For example, I can change the resolution. I can also change the display mode. We can also tone this down, the performance, or we can tone it up to quality, or just go in the middle and then press apply. And as you can see, it has now adjusted the settings to the options I just selected in custom. So that is a very cool feature that's built into GeForce Experience, and I highly do recommend using it if you do find it hard sometimes adjusting all the settings within a game. If we then go back and we can now go ahead and click on drivers, you can actually download and install the latest NVIDIA drivers through the GeForce experience. You can click on check for updates. If it does say you have the latest update, but you just want to double check, if it does detect a new driver update, then it will pop up within this window. Another few features you can adjust in GeForce Experience is clicking on this symbol here, which is the in-game overlay. You will then see a window or a screen that looks like this. This will pop up over your games. The key to open this up is Alt and Z, which as you can see, I press the button there and it displays it. You can press that key within game and it will display this window. You can then have instant replay turned on if you want. And what instant replay does is it basically allows you to record the last 30 seconds or 20 seconds, whatever option you choose of gameplay. So say I'm within a game and I do something really cool. I do a backflip in a car or something traumatic like that. I can then go ahead and quickly go instant replay and it will then record those last 30 seconds. You can adjust the settings by simply clicking on settings and you actually need to turn off instant replay to adjust the settings. There we go, settings. As you can see, the instant replay length is currently set at five minutes, but you can turn this all the way down to 30 seconds, 15 seconds, or you can even turn it up to 20 minutes. That is your own decision. You can also change the quality of the video capture 
you can even change the resolution and we can change the frame rate. You can also change the bit rate. Once you are happy with the settings, you can then go ahead and press save. If we then go across to record, and then if you hit start, this will then record the whole game until you then press stop. So basically, if I press start now, it will then start to record my desktop, even though I don't actually want it to. And then I can then press stop. And in the bottom right hand corner of your screen, you will see like a little green dot. And then once you stop recording, that green dot will disappear. Another cool feature about GeForce Experience, you can actually use Broadcast Live. If we go into settings, as you can see, there are lots of different options you can choose from. Facebook, you can also choose Twitch and YouTube. You can then choose the quality again and also the resolution of your stream. If we now go back, we can then go to screenshot. This basically allows you to take a screenshot of your screen. So for example, if you're in game and then it gets to the end of the game and you want to take a screenshot of the scoreboard, you can quickly press Alt and F1 and it will take a screenshot of what you are seeing. Photo mode is also cool as well, but that is only supported in some games. So unfortunately, it won't work in everything. As you can see in the top right hand corner, a supported game is required to use this feature. But photo mode is definitely really cool and I too highly recommend you give it a go if your game supports it. You also have Game Filter, which basically just allows you to adjust the in-game of how it looks and stuff. You can add some pretty cool filters. If we now look on the right hand side here, you can mute your microphone if you want, or you can change it to push to talk. It depends if you want your voice to be in your video recordings. Another cool thing when it comes to the audio, if you click on settings, you can actually change it from a single track to separate both tracks. So you can record your microphone on a different track to your game sounds. If we then go back again, we have the settings cog. And as you can see, you have lots of different settings in here as well. We can change the layout of GeForce Experience. There's that green dot that I was talking about, the status indicator. You can also turn on frames per second counter. So you can see just how well your games are running. And if you're streaming, you can turn on the viewers and comments. If we then go back again, you have your keyboard shortcuts, which you can adjust. As you can see, Alt and Z brings up this overlay, which I said earlier on. If we then go back again, you have recordings. We already looked in there and broadcast live. You have highlights, which is really cool as well. Basically, you can allow shadow play which is known as GeForce Experience, to automatically capture screenshots and video recordings that it thinks are pretty awesome. If we then go back again, you have that photo mode and game filter. And yeah, that pretty much is it for GeForce Experience. So basically, if you have not used GeForce Experience yet, I do recommend give it a go if your Nvidia graphics card supports it. I highly do recommend it. It's a fantastic program. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.